Dr. Zakia, is it allowed for one to eat and drink even when the Mu'adhin announces the uh, call to prayer for Fajr? Is it allowed to eat and drink? Some people, I'm not sure whether it's correct or not, but some people believe that you can eat and drink all the way up to the Fajr Adhan and beyond. I'm aware that there are some Muslims who believe that you can eat and drink until the Fajr Adhan ends. And there are some people who, when they can hear various Adhan of different mosques from the house, they wait till they hear the end of the last Adhan. So if they can hear five, six Adhan, they wait till the last Adhan ends, till that time they eat and drink. In fact, this is not proved from any of the Hadith of the Prophet. And anyone who innovates a new thing in the deen, it has to be rejected. It's mentioned in the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number three, hadith number 2697, that anyone who innovates a new thing in the deen, it has to be rejected. In fact, it's clearly mentioned in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 187, that eat and drink until the white thread of dawn becomes distinct to you from the black thread. That means the moment dawn breaks, moment you hear the adhan, you have to stop eating. And as I quoted earlier, the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number three, book of fasting, hadith number 1918 and hadith number 1919, where Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she said, when you hear the adhan of Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him, continue eating and drinking until you hear the adhan of Ibn Umm Maktoum. For when he gives the adhan, it is the time for Fajr, that dawn breaks up. That means the moment you hear the adhan, you have stop eating. The moment you hear the adhan, you have stop eating. But there is a concession given by our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in a Sahih Hadith of Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the Book of Fasting, Hadith number 2343, where the beloved Prophet said, that when you hear the adhan, and if you have a drinking vessel in your hand, you are allowed to satisfy yourself from that vessel. That means our beloved Prophet has given a concession that while you're eating or drinking, something is in your hand, you can complete it. But that doesn't mean that if you have a big sandwich in your hand, that you complete it. If you have a bite left of that sandwich in your hand, and then you've had it, it's fine. Or when you're drinking a glass of water, and there is something left in it, you can have it. That doesn't mean you can go out of your way and touch your hand and pick up another glass of water and keep on having you have a big burger or a sandwich and keep on eating for a few minutes after the adhan started. And it's a misconception that you can eat till the end of the adhan. There's no hadith saying that. Because you start the adhan the moment the fajr prayer time starts. A moment it's the break of dawn, the adhan has to be given. The moment you hear the adhan, you have to stop eating.